And background and action. Hi. We're going to play some random trivia game right now. This is the best moment of the show ever. Are these hard questions? Name a single joke. Ready. <laughs> Wait, before, bef before we start, there are no season four questions, right? And so on. And action. We are developing the perfect mascot. No stereotypical identifiers from any race or gender. The human being. The human being, and it's not me. The human being. Of course, obviously. Oh, sorry. Hey, say hello to our ethically neutral mascot, the Greendale human being. Uh, the costume makes it difficult for him to see. He can't move his mouth either. But, but take it from me, that's human for hello. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I think you know the reason this group has been chosen for this job. To atone for the obscene entry you submitted in the Greendale school flag contest. Uh, oh my god. Oof. I have no idea on that one. Something with anus in it? E pluribus anum? Something anus. What is on the Green Day flag? What is it? A butthole. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, e pluribus anal. Damn it! The Latin phrase is e pluribus anus. Ah. E pluribus anus. E pluribus anus. I added an M, that's just for me, so that way I, I can say it to my mom and not feel guilty. In 2012, Greendale Community College was the site of the largest and longest pillow fight in community college history. It shaped and scarred the landscape of their campus and forever changed the lives of those involved. Oh, gosh, um... Oh, you know, that guy. Um, uh, Michael Moore? <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Yes. There was never an episode named Pillows and Blankets. Yep, definitely. That's a good question, though. I get the trick you tried to pull. Good try. Well, I can't think of it right now. Next. <laughs> the the one that, you know, drifts, I'm gonna look so stupid in this. Uh, you know, the one that, uh, the, the, the Ken Burns. Ken Burns. Ooh. Because it says that on the Apple, uh, yeah, when you do live movie. Ken Burns effect. Ken Burns! Oh! Uh, Ken Burns. Ken Burns. We know you hate these constant pledge drives. We know you hate them. We don't love doing them. We don't like doing them either. I'd rather be at home right now, mm -hmm. okay? Taking a warm bath with my wife. Yeah. Oh, brother, not this one again. <laughs> but if you want to help us out, we are literally this close to losing our friends. Britta. <laughs> Britta. 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 Oh, Britta is traditionally the worst. Britta. 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 <laughs> uh, the worst ever in the history. Joel. <laughs> That's the worst. You get six points for that. Abed, check this out. Oh, Britta's still the worst. Yeah. Um, Gout lotion. Hand wipes. Right? Yeah. Wet wipes. Yeah. Wipes. I mean, not wet wipes. Wipes. Baby wipes. Or like sex wipes. Or sex wipes. 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 That was a good episode. Yeah. Why do you have a monkey? Uh, it's an animal that looks like a dude. Why don't I have ten of them? Uh, you mean Childish Gambino's monkey? Um, ooh, this is a good trivia question. Oh, well, in real life, it's Crystal. Half, half a point? I'll give you a half. Okay. This is not fair. We're in the middle of the finale. We've worked a lot of hours. I can't remember anything right now. Peter. 
I don't like to name it because Troy took the monkey with him on the sailboat and he ate it. It got rough out there for him and Barber. You know, starting a sea voyage from Lenlock, Colorado may not have been the best idea. Troy's monkey is named Annie's boobs. <laughs> oh, Annie's boobs. Jesus, how could I forget that? I wanted to, never mind. Annie's boobs. These are all pretty easy. Annie's boobs. Annie's boobs. thing and this time not with a contest on Twitter it's his Twitter account he can do what he wants they are my body parts oh I don't remember on the table or something ah uh, I don't know I don't remember in the classroom in the dean's office cafeteria right there You know, it would totally serve them right if we did it here in the study room. Oh my God, could you imagine? I can't stop imagining. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. Table six. <laughs> On the first edition of the study room table. Season five, we create a new table. We just realized that oh, no yeah, one's christened the second one. Oh so yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe that'll happen tonight. Maybe Ooh. somebody will get some. Last night. Fine, Ken, we'll hook up on the table. <laughs> Britta? No. Hold on, who won first year? Oh my gosh. I know second year Pierce won. Pierce won second year. First year, I think, go back. Shirley. Pass. Britta? Senior Chang. Oh, God. Well, Jeff comes into my office and shoots me. Did he win? I'm forgetting. Well, Jeff won the paintball game, but he gave his prize to Shirley. Ah, okay, okay. See, I don't remember anything. Sorry, guys. This is disappointing, isn't it? Jeff. Jeff won this episode. Not that episode. Jeff won the paintball episode. He won the paintball game in the uh, paintball episode. I have emerged victorious with a priority registration form. Oh, well done, Jeff. Uh, was it 16 Candles? John Hughes film. Um, uh, lead, uh, Die Hard. All right. Look at this crew. All ready to study all night. Uh, uh, um, uh, wait. Breakfast club. Breakfast club. Breakfast club. Breakfast club. There's breakfast. I'm gonna go with, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. You know what I got for Christmas? It was a banner year at the Bender family. I got a carton of cigarettes. The old man grabbed me and said, Hey, smoke up, Johnny! No, Dad! What about you? Well, uh, that, that actually was from The Breakfast Club. Oh. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Dirty Dancing. TV show? I mean, Tick Puncher's movies. I don't know. I know this. Uh, really good question. I'm gonna go uh, accessorize with Sean on H HSN. Uh, Troy and Abbott in the morning. Oh. Oh, oh, oh um, you know, the, uh, the, the future one. Um, Abbott, maybe this can be your new favorite show. It's a British sci-fi series that's been on the air since 1962. Doctor, <gasps> um, you know, oh God, something like that. Doctor Space Time, <laughs> what is it really? What is it, Bill? Nope. Oh, Inspector Space Time. This is the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god! Oh god, I knew that! You knew that, Jill. I knew that. Okay. I'm tired. Oh, 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 Inspector Space Time. Yes. I knew that one. Yeah. Take that blog on scum. How old are you guys? The question isn't how old we are, 
but when old we are. In your face, God, log, you on log on twit. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Oh, I don't know. What does he play? I don't know that one. I don't remember. He plays. He plays the mannequin leg. He does though. Yeah. What is that thing? Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like the guitar. Yeah. Guitar. Guitar. Oh, the guitar. I'm nailing this. Dick. Oh, that's horrible. Of course. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, music lessons would be great for you. Oh, thanks, Britta. I can't believe I actually know these answers once you tell me. I actually, once she tells me, I know the answer. Oh, fail. <laughs> oh. I forget. Shit. Oh, the, the character's real name, Dino Stanopoulos. Starburn's real name is Alex Osborne. My name is Alex. Alex Osborne. I was a standard. Alex. 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 No, yeah. Alex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He will never What type of restaurant did Abed's father own? An Indian one. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. He's Indian, but Abed is not. What is he? He's Palestinian. Oh, Palestinian oh. one. Oh. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. Pass. Papusas. Sorry about the language. Falafel. Oh my God, really? Oh, this is pulling it out of my ass. My dad will only pay for classes that will help me run the family restaurant. It's been struggling since 2001. 9-11 was pretty much the 9-11 of the falafel business. Falafel as a fallback? Where is Weezer? Shout out to Iqbal. Falafel as a fallback. she's supposed to be, but I do know she's not Miss Piggy. I repeat, she is not Miss Piggy. You're on your own. Hello. <laughs> Guess who I am? Not Miss Piggy. She was dressed as um, the Tooth Fairy. No. We don't celebrate ho uh, holidays on the show because uh, we're Jehovah's Witnesses. She was a, uh, I don't remember. What was it? OK, one hint. I am a beloved character from our childhood. I can't stop seeing it. I know. The good witch from The Wizard of Oz. Glinda. She was a good witch, Glinda the good witch. She was dressed as either Miss Piggy or Glinda the good witch. Uh, she thought Glinda the good witch. Oh, this is how I die. It's Miss Piggy. You're not Miss Piggy. You're Glinda the good witch. Oh, you know. Just so you know, I've always loved Peggy Fleming. You're not racist. <laughs> this is the day we've been waiting for. Suit up! Yeah! Oh my goodness, pass. The Changinators. I know that's not it. Uh, that I don't remember. End of season three. It got crazy. I don't, I don't know. The it's like Inglorious Bastards, but it's not. It's like the Inglorious Little Brats. I don't Inglorious. I don't remember, but it's something like that. Chang Glorious Bastards. Chang has recruited an army of preteen security interns while moonlighting at a local bar mitzvah. They were later nicknamed the Chang Glorious Bastards, like Inglorious Bastards but with Chang instead of in. I don't get it either. Ah! 
Annie. It's just the pizza. We can't buzz him up. So I'm gonna sit him down. Ah, okay. Starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you are not creating six different timelines. Of course I am on that. I don't know this one. I don't remember. Ah, uh, the pizza did. I went. No, 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 wait. Britta. No? Abed? Jeff? Shirley? Uh, uh, Al uh, a Annie. Britta? What? <laughs> Troy? <laughs> Troy. These are getting more specific. Troy. One thing has become clear. This is the darkest, most terrible timeline. Enough with the timeline crap, Abed. Pierce got shot in the leg and died. Shirley's a drunk. Annie's locked in a mental ward because her guilt drove her insane. Jeff lost an arm in the fire. Troy lost his larynx because for some dumb reason he tried to destroy a flaming troll doll by eating it. Clearly you don't understand anything about the feeding trolls. Life has gone to hell, Abed! This is real! You know, now that Troy's off the streets and living with me, he's learning so much about the world. Yeah. Tell me again why Jewish people wear yarmulkes. Not to have them. Saves money. Thank you. At. most important to our survival, but fair warning, it's my penis. <laughs> Old racist guy says? Uh, something like shit old guy says. But it would have been a network version of that, so I don't know what stuff old guy says. I want to say old man says, grumpy old man says, something old man says. Old white man says? I'm old white man says? No wonder he says everything I'm thinking. Bastard. I'm just sharing what you say. Yeah, well, what if I share all the stuff you say? He thinks all dogs are boys and all cats are girls. There's no way to disprove that. Have you ever seen a cat penis? I don't see color, though. That's why I didn't say old white man says. You learn to accept the bad with the good. Oh, that's the Greendale effect. Our school motto is lower your standards. Oh, man. I don't remember. Uh, life, liberty, right to own property. I don't know. Why can't they look at me? Because Greendale's a slam dunk. You're already here. <laughs> Look, that would have been a better one. <laughs> that would have been your year. We're all Everybody accepted. All, you're already accepted. Already accepted. Already accepted. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Nailed it. Greendale, you're already accepted. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Welcome to Greendale, you're already accepted. <laughs> Losers. What the hell? Welcome to Greendale. You're already dead. Oh gosh, what was her name? Do you need me? You need me to pull in? I'm sorry guys. Uh, gosh, uh, pulled me away right when I didn't know that answer. Dr. Criminal Minds. I believe she played a... Um... Fuck you, Danny. See you later, Joel. Uh, was she on the school board? Parking lady, the woman in charge of parking spaces. You want me to lift web restrictions solely for custodial? They need to have full access so they can research um, custodian stuff. If the filter is mistakenly blocking a site, they just need to submit the URL. And... Deborah, let's be clear. I want everything to get through that porn blocker. What do you mean everything? Everything! <laughs> Understood. Everything! The IT lady. Oh, she was the IT lady. Oh, man. And my name was Donna? Deborah. Deborah. Oh, 
I know because I wrote that episode, is she played Deborah Chambers, the IT lady. I can't believe I forgot that. God, it's been a long year. Steven Weber, the, it's the uh, cook in the wheelchair bag. I don't know. What is it? What is it? I don't remember. Uh, the Odd Couple. Oh, it's the guy in the wheelchair and... What? The guy in the wheelchair. I'm just a detective from the swamps of Atlanta. Can't even walk. Oh, oh, oh. Then let me be your legs. We're going with Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Final answer. Can we phone a friend? Man, see, well, I remember all the different alts that we had when we were figuring it out. Uh, it was the, the butcher and the baker, I think? Okay, good. I wasn't sure if that's where we landed. Oh, the butcher and the baker. The butcher and the baker. Oh, no, hang with Mr. Cooper. I'm pretty sure it was hang with Mr. Cooper. Next week on The Butcher and the Baker, when a new detective on the bayou disappears and Butcher is the prime suspect, it's up to Shirley to cook up some answers. I feel like one of the lyrics was really morbid. It's like tie me to a tree. Yeah. It does sound like a song about killing yourself. We had to look it up. We don't. No one actually knows the words. I know all the words. Go for it. Uh, give us some bleeps. Give us some bops. Tie me some sleeps. Some adolescent ops. This will be the best. Give me. Bob Hope, and I will pee. Gary Smoke, time your dream. <laughs> give me some milk, give me some cream, give me some poop, put it on steam. I cannot do a booby doo boo. I cannot poop and pee till I go to my room. <laughs> Give me some rope, tie me a dream. Give me some hope, run out of steam. Somebody said it could be real. I can't find the reasons I think I should stay. Bam, bam. I don't know, right? Close? Oh my god, look, and it's signed by the Dean. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm right up there with Ruffles. <laughs> oh, because I got it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Over 50%. Uh, 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 uh. You're already accepted. Wow. Thanks, Greendale. <laughs> go. I did better than you. <laughs> Damn but, it! But worse than Ken. What? Well, I don't know. You should be really ashamed. Thank you, guys. I mean, Pat, we did it. Pat, we did it. Drops a Jupiter man in my ear. What a nerd. The reasons I should stay. I've been going here for six years, so it's not a great school. Good show, not a good school. Check it out. Well, if a dog can get a diploma here, so can I. I like the idea that the diplomas from Greenville would have three hole punch in them. That's a good <laughs> Awesome. What a rip off. A piece of paper. <sighs> I did it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not the worst at trivia about community. All right, wow. Look what I got. You gave one to everyone. Oh. Give me some rope tied to a tree. Ugh.